hey what is up guys so maintenance just ended and luckily it was kind of early so i actually still have enough time to like be awake and experience it like be one of the first people to experience it so in overall content not much has changed on this side there's a new event over here which is basically simple you just get these uh, materials here you just get these materials for doing dailies and then you just craft gifts and then you go over here and then you use these gifts and just get one of whatever you want and then by the end of this you get these end rewards right here and when you get all of these you get the 10 diamonds so there's that one we also got the 100 diamonds because apparently Griamore was a little too strong for a free to play unit so they had to nerf him and since he's a free to play unit they can kind of get away with it since I mean somewhat because people did have to invest a lot of time into making gear and all that so 100 diamonds doesn't really cut it but it's I guess it's better than nothing. The main deal about this new patch is the Danafor list that they dropped and we're going to quickly see what she can do since I don't think anyone really I didn't see anything about what she can do so we're going to quickly go over it. Increases basic stats of allies whose crit defense is 100% or higher by 20% at the start of the battle. Her debuff card is a stun. Her attack card is a rupture card. Rupture is pretty good, I guess. It doesn't do a lot of damage. I've never seen top units use rupture. The only PvP unit I see using rupture is the uh, Ludosio. But he's mainly used as a buffer for Escanor. It doesn't really have much of a use, especially with his Rupture card. She has the same ultimate as every other Danafor list, unfortunately. In terms of what she can do, it's kind of bad, not gonna lie. Let's take a look at the banner. Wow, okay. Um, The banner is not looking so good. Wow, what is this? Yeah, this, this banner is not good. This banner is pretty trash. Alright, let, let's cope a little bit, you know. You might want to go for the two diamonds, I mean the two multis here. Since it is always 31 and you can get a good amount of stamina pots or, you know, you know, stuff like that. Maybe get an SSR, use the coin for something else. I don't know, man, because this, this banner really isn't it. The only good units that I see here is maybe this list if you guys don't have her. Uh, she's really good for the time limit dungeon really really good like really 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 good she buffs up my my t uh time limit dungeon team and she's only like a level 50 ssr you don't really need to have her leveled up just have her leveled up enough so that you can get her passive unlocked i would totally risk the 31 diamonds for a chance at having her they also added a new labyrinth to the game uh, i'm saying new with quotation marks because i don't really know this is new I don't really keep track with the game like that, so I don't know if I just completely like skipped over this. Only adding this just in case it is completely new. There is this labyrinth for y'all to do. He has some pretty sweet rewards. Uh, hopefully you guys know how to do labyrinths by now. If not, I'll make a guide sometime. Maybe the last few days of the labyrinth. Maybe I'll make a video like one week before the labyrinth ends. Who knows? We can only hope we get so lucky. If you guys enjoyed, then please hit that like button as it does help out the channel. Consider subscribing if you find yourselves coming back often. And I wish you guys a good night or day depending on your time zones. Peace.